Welcome to another video from the Pilot Institute. And this week we are going to be testing the Mini 2, which just came out not too long ago, with the Mavic Air 2. A lot of you have been asking the difference between the two in terms of flight time and, and uh, hope to get some uh, comparison. Obviously, on paper, the Mini 2 here is rated for 31 minutes. The um, uh, Mavic Air 2 is for 34 minutes, so 31 thir versus 34 minutes. So we're going to go out. Actually, we had a beautiful day when we tested this and uh, and get up in the end and uh, let's uh, find out the results. So we had a little bit of an issue um, recording this after we came back. Uh, we had a little bit of an issue with the beginning of the video with a corrupted file. So uh, we're going to take you to uh, kind of a minute or two into the beginning of the uh, the flight and then we'll go from there and then go to the, uh, the warnings. Uh, we've We've done two other tests so far, so if you want to see on our YouTube channel, uh, we've tested the Mini 2 versus the original Mini, kind of see the difference between the two. I don't want to spoil the results, so you may have seen the results already. And then we also did the Mini 2 versus the original Mini using the original Mini battery. So if you want to see those results, uh, go out there and check out the videos. They're popping up right here with a link. And uh, all right, so let's get to the field and take a look. The first thing that you'll see is the uh, obvious from the get-go is the uh, the Mavic Air 2 is showing much, much longer on the battery, which again is expected. We have 34 minutes uh, expected flight on that versus 31 minutes on the Mini 2. Uh, also, what happened is uh, the battery, I could not get the battery over 95% on the Mavic Air 2 by the time I got to the field. Um, I don't know if it was the temperature. I'm not quite sure actually what happened there, but I was at 99% on the Mini 2, so a bit of an advantage there, and then we lost 5% on the other one. Um, the battery had just come out of the charger, so that's uh, that's not really what the issue was here. But uh, let's uh, let's get started. Let's uh, forward a little bit, and then let's go further down. Uh, we'll take a look at the health of the battery in a second on the uh, uh, as we fast forward through this. And as we get to about the three minute mark, what you will notice is that in terms of the battery health, obviously we have different voltage here. We have 12 volts on one side and then we have 8 volts on the other side. And uh, so that what is going to make a difference, obviously much bigger batteries, three cells versus two cells for the Mavic Mini 2. So that's going to make a difference. So let's, uh, let's again move forward a little bit more so we can get to the next point where we get to about... Uh, the 50% the mark and then see where we stand in terms of those numbers. And we see that the first drone to get there, which is expected, was the Mini 2. We got to 50% at about almost the 13 minute mark. And uh, we still have, uh, we're at 53% on the original, on the Air 2. So um, quite a big difference at this stage. Uh, we're going to keep on going and see what happens as we get to the first warning. Now you see we have different warnings. We have the forced landing warning that's coming up next. And, uh, with, and then we have the battery depleted warning, which is when the drone kind of goes down by itself. So... Let's get to the next event, and that next event is coming up right here, and we have the first low warning battery from the Mini 2. Uh, the Mavic Air 2 is still going strong, so we're going to fast forward from here. We're at a little bit less than, we were at less than 20 minutes when that happened, and uh, we're just going to fast forward, and then uh, you know what happens after the low battery. Eventually, the drone is going to be forced to land. It's going to be uh, something that we can prevent, so we're going to have to keep the drone up in the air, using the control sticks in order to do that and then and this is basically what we're going to do here and uh, and you can see this is coming up right here interestingly the uh, the two warnings happened at the same time we have the uh, the forced landing that happened on the mini 2 and at the same time we had a return to home which is interesting because the mavic air 2 was really uh, really close to us and it still kind of uh, prompted the the return to home which we canceled pretty much right away but now the the mavic mini has been the mini 2 has been uh, in forced landing mode already uh, and there's no slowing down on the opposite side for the uh, for the Mavic Air 2 and uh, so we'll keep it up right here in the air and you can see that we're getting close to the forced landing there it is for the Mavic Air 2 and again we're going to fight it and we're going to keep it up in the air you can see the drone is kind of going up and down as we're trying to find the right amount of stick to put in but now what you see is the the Mini 2 is at 0% it's basically at 0% it's uh, getting those last few inches of battery uh, that are left in there I don't know if they're inches of battery whatever you call it and uh, and then that's it it's coming down that's uh, it's basically going to come down and landed so we lost 
the uh, the mini two uh, coming down and uh, and there you go you've got about 26 minutes of battery on the mini two which is pretty good for uh, being advertised for 31 percent uh, we had the, um, obviously we're flying at a higher altitude we're flying at 5,000 feet elevation so we always get less than what is advertised on the battery so 26 minutes kind of in line with the other tests that we did in the past um, and then the Mavic Air 2 is still going and we fast forwarded we're at 28 minutes now and there you go there you go 28 minutes is pretty much all it has um, it went down now we have uh the the uh the, the answer is the difference between the mavic air 2 and the mavic mini so let's take a look at the results and see exactly what the numbers look like and we see that right from the get-go what we had is uh, the low battery warning happened about three minutes apart, three minutes and 30 seconds apart. So the 20% difference. Uh, and that's interestingly, you know, the advertised battery is three minute difference. So that was pretty close. The low battery landing happened. So when we had to fight the drone in itself at 23.38 and then 25.05. So that's about a, a minute and a half, right? I think if I'm doing the math correctly, about a minute and a half difference. Now, interestingly, uh, those happen at different percentage. So that also makes sense. Uh, one happened at 10%, one happened actually at 5%. Uh, we reached 0% at about almost exactly, again, three minute difference. So pretty much right on the spot uh, for DJI. And then um, in terms of the force landing, uh, it happened at 2640, which was about 86% of the advertised battery. And then 2809, so another minute and a half longer. We stayed a minute and a half longer on the Air 2 uh, up in the air and that was 83% of advertised. So uh, in the grand scheme of things, the Mini 2 actually did better. Now remember, the battery was a little bit lower on the Air 2 when I started. Uh, I don't think it was a minute and a half longer in terms of the difference, but, uh, but still, uh, so that's the answer. You get whatever you want, I guess, from these numbers, but I, I thought I would put those out there. Uh, again, remember, everything was done at about uh, 5,500 feet elevation. Uh, MSL mean sea level and then also was done on a fairly cold day it was about uh, 55 60 degrees outside so but about a good temperature I would say to do these tests but uh, that's the information so hope you enjoyed it and I will see you guys later